Hi everyone, I'm Joanne Fink for Sakura, and today I'm going to show you how to draw simple shapes and add pattern to the edges to make them look really cool. We're going to do a butterfly, a sun, and add easy patterns at the edges of the drawings. I'll take you step by step through how to do it. So let's get started. What we'll need, your favorite size micron. I prefer the 01 and that's what I'd recommend you use for this. We're going to start with a butterfly. Do a long skinny caterpillar shape in the middle. Come out in a curve for the wing and then do the same here. Now I look at my butterfly and I think, wow, that side's a lot bigger than this side. But that's okay, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this side bigger by adding pattern there. And I'll make this side a little bit smaller. And I'm going to do that same thing here by making that one smaller. And I'll make this one a little bit bigger. And I had a little glitch right there, so I'm just going to go and touch it up. I like to see pattern pretty much everywhere around the butterfly. So I'm going to go back and make a little bit more of a hole right there and right here so that I'll have a space to pattern. The antennas are the most fun. Just come up in a straight line and curl around in a spiral. Do that on both sides and put a little dot in the inside. Okay, so now that we have all of these spaces, pick your favorite pattern. And we'll do four lines, one, two, three, four, and a circle, four lines. And if you haven't patterned around a curve before, just keep the lines flowing with the shape of the curve. The second pattern that we learned were the loops. And loops can be done in a big space or a small space. I'm going to put our triangle pattern over here. And then just as we did in the simple patterning video, we're going to come back and add a triangle underneath. I'm going to add another triangle over here. We have the fan pattern, which works really well in small areas. And I think maybe we will fill this tiny space with a fan pattern. I don't like to put the same pattern next to each other, so that if I've done the loop over here, I'm not going to do the loop over here, but I am totally fine doing the loop over here. And so we're going to put the scallop pattern in our last big hole, and just adding that double scallop shape underneath. Now I have just a couple of holes left I think this is a good place to do my four lines and a circle. And this one, I'm going to do the fan pattern because it fits so nicely in really tiny areas. One of the things that I like to do is go through and add weight to some of the lines. This does a couple of things. One, it allows me to cover up any spots where I happen to have gone outside the lines. Not only does it accent the butterfly, but it hides the fact that I couldn't stay within the lines. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come in and just add weight. And by adding weight, I can clean up my butterfly, hide any line flaws, and make it look more interesting because I have some heavy lines that contrast with my lighter weight lines. Now I think we need to decorate our caterpillar body. Do two rounded lines like this and then come back and add little lines there and again give a little bit of weight. It makes that stand out. Then part of the finishing touch is a butterfly trail. And I like to do a butterfly trail that's just a bunch of dashes but it makes it look like the butterfly has been spinning around all over. And then in the same way that we added 
a place to add pattern. I'm just going to go in, add some patterning places if I want. I won't have to pattern them because sometimes empty spaces provide contrast and that looks really cool against a lot of pattern. This will make my butterfly ever so much more interesting. Now that you've seen how easy it is to put pattern on the wings of a butterfly, I'd like to show you other ways that you can pattern. You can pattern around the edges of a heart. There's another butterfly. Sometimes I will just put lines inside stems on flowers. Just that tiny little bit of pattern makes a huge difference. Any place where you can put a little tiny space is a great place to add pattern. I'd like to show you how to do a scene. So we're going to do a landscape. And we're going to start by drawing an S-curve. We want to add a space for pattern. Now I'm going to add the hill going up. Think of it almost like a ribbon. And the piece de resistance, I'm going to put a sun in between the hills. So. Let's pattern these really quickly so you can see where the hills are. We'll do the fan pattern here, where we're alternating four concentric circular lines. I think in this space, we can do the triangle pattern, because that's, as you guys know, always one of my favorites. When you're doing something around a curve, what really helps to emphasize it is to put your horizontal lines and make sure that they go around the curve. And for this last pattern, I think I'll do my standard four lines and a circle. The first thing that I wanna do with the sun is to double stroke it so I have spaces for pattern. And the next thing that I want to do is add triangles for the rays. Let's do skinny lines that show that the rays of the sun are curved. So now we've got our lines and I really need to see some difference between the sun and the rays. So I'm going to add a little bit of weight and then I'm going to fill with pattern this piece of the sun so it can be differentiated from the sun's rays. For the sun, I think it will look great if we add a little bit of weight to the rays, which will also, once again, hide any mistakes that we happen to have made. And then I like to add some motion. And I do this by doing a really fast stroke and then three little dots. And that just adds a whole lot of life to the piece. You can also do that inside the sun. Something that, again, will add a lot of interest is if you go and add some pattern inside the pattern. And I think if you're doing a lot of patterning that it helps to keep your pattern choices simple. So here, I'm basically just doing straight lines. And now the last thing that I think will complete our picture is a water line. And I want these to be straight so they contrast with the ones that I'm doing near the sun and the hills, which curve. As a finishing touch, you can just enclose your piece in a little line it helps if the lines inside bleed off. So if you didn't get that to bleed off, just take a moment and extend them to the edge. And there you have a finished patterned sun over the hills. I hope you've enjoyed adding pattern to your pictures. Remember any shape, whatever shape you want to do, whether it's a circle, a star, do the shape. Outline the shape so that you have a little bit of area to pattern and experiment with your favorite patterns. Most of all, have fun.